Well, which will be very brief, but I do want to uh, offer uh, one more uh, very strong uh, and heartfelt uh, word of uh, thanks to uh, our co-chairs whose brainchild uh, this activity was and who oversaw with great care uh, and to great end uh, the, the conduct of its planning, Joe Selby and Ralph Horowitz. My primary uh, comment really is uh, what a great birthday present for the National Academy of Sciences this was. Um, the, throughout uh, the conduct of all of the conversations, um, there was underscoring of the fact uh, that science uh, is not so much about finding the answers uh, as it is about uh, advancing the knowledge base to find the next question. Uh, and that in many ways uh, is, um, uh, is what has been emphasized uh, and the opportunity that's been emphasized throughout the course of uh, the conversations here. The ultimate question for us, of course, is, uh, as several reminded us, what is right for the patient? Uh, and it's clear that the nature of the conversations uh, throughout this last day and a half uh, has been wonderfully uh, informing to the agenda uh, that will quicken the pace of progress uh, in that respect, uh, and also set the groundwork for the next meeting uh, on the clinical research uh, uh, infrastructure priorities for the continuously learning uh, health system. So stay tuned on that count. Meanwhile, uh, thanks again to Ralph and Joe. Thanks to all of you, to PCORI for the support, uh, to the Clinical Effectiveness Research Innovation Collaborative uh, uh, of the IOM, and to Barrett uh, and Liz and Val and Julia, and especially, if she can stand up, uh, to Claudia Grossman. You have to stand up, Claudia. <laughs>